I am begging you, Sheridan. Take Louise and run away tonight. Don't tell anyone what you're planning to do. Elope. But I told you, we can't do that until we have Antonio declared legally dead. And besides, Louise and I want to get married at Christmas. No, that will be too late. Why? And why are you getting so upset? I can't explain it, but I am terrified that there is something that is going to prevent you and Louise from marrying. You know what? I'm sorry, but this really, it's none of Listen to me. I am trying to help you, Sheridan. Please, take Luis, make him leave Harmony with you tonight. Mrs. Wheeler, you're really starting to frighten me. I'm sorry, but you have to do this before something happens, before Alistair stops you, before your father tears you and Luis apart forever. Mrs. Wheeler, please stop this. You're really starting to scare me. Good. You should be scared. If Alistair finds out that you are planning a wedding with Luis, you know he won't allow it. So what, you think we should just slink off into the night and get married without telling anyone? Yes, that's exactly what I think you should do. I am terrified for you, Sheridan. We both know what Alistair is capable of. He will stop at nothing to tear you and Luis apart. I'm not going to run away from my father. And I'm not going to marry Luis in secret. All right, I want to get married at Christmas at St. Margaret Mary's Church in front of all of our family and all of our friends. I, I want the world to share in our joy. I know that's what you want. And you should have it. It would be wonderful. But you know that Alistair will not allow it. Look, Mrs. Wheeler, I am well aware of how much my father hates Louise and to what lengths he has gone to to try to keep us apart. I mean, my God, he, he blew up the boat that Louise and I were on down in Bermuda. He had me committed to a mental institution to erase my memory of Louise. He even planted a bomb in my car, amongst other evil things that he's tried to do, but everything has failed. How do you know the next time he won't succeed? Because I don't believe that there will be a next time. He's tried so many times and has failed every single time. And besides, if he does try again, the police will get him. Oh, Sheridan, you are so naive. I appreciate your concern, but once Julian has Antonio declared legally dead, I am going to marry Luis. And there's nothing that you can say or that my father can do to stop us. There is always something Alistair can do to get his way. <sighs> What is going on here, Mrs. Wheeler, or whatever your name is? Why are you so afraid of my father? I told you, Sheridan. I'm worried he's going to hurt you and Luis. No. No, this is more than just about Luis and me. Because this, this fear that you have towards my father, it's, it's something personal. And it's more than just fear. It's like a hatred. I mean, you did try to kill him twice. Why? He did try and kill us all in Mexico. He had Paloma kidnapped. You know what? That's the excuse that you gave me, and I just don't believe it anymore. What are you hiding? Oh, please, Sheridan. You really just have to trust me. Trust you? I did trust you, and you betrayed that trust. You know, I, I cared about you. I felt a connection to you from the moment that we met. Oh, so do I. But you were lying. You were lying the whole time about everything. Covering up your relationship with Luis's father. And how could you do that? How could you take a man away from his wife and children? It is so much more than you know. It's so much more than you think it is. Then what is it? Tell me, please. Because I need to know. Who are you? What are you hiding? Please, I need to know the truth. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Then I have nothing more to say to you. Because if you can't be honest with me and tell me who you really are, then... There's really no reason for me to listen to anything else that you have to say. I'm gonna marry Luis. Here, in harmony, with everyone there. Oh, God. Sharon, I wish I could tell you the truth. I wish.
wish I could tell you I'm your mother. But I know if I did, it would put your future with Luis in even more danger. So the baby's in the NICU? Yeah, we still don't know if she's gonna make it. God. Poor little girl. How's Teresa? The nurse says she's doing fine. My heart is just breaking for Gwen and Ethan. I, you know, they want this baby so badly, and they have no other chance of having a biological child. I, I just really hope this baby makes it. So do I. <sighs> Everything all right? You were gone for a while. Fine. Just as we learned, I just had a really intense conversation with her. What the hell are you talking to her for? She followed me into the ladies' room. Said she's concerned about our plans to get married. Well, you know what? You tell her to mind her own damn business. In fact, I'm going to tell her myself. Louise, please wait, okay? I, I want to talk to you about what she said. But not here. I, I really need to get some air. All right, fine. We'll go to the book cafe. No, you know what? We should stay close by just in case anything happens to Teresa or the baby. You're right. Uh, all right, I know someone we can go. Come on. Mrs. Wheeler insists that we elope. She said that she's afraid that if we don't, my father will stop us from getting married. Look, I know we have to deal with Alistair, but I don't see why it's any of Mrs. Wheeler's damn business. I, I don't know either. All I know is that she's hiding something from me, something very important, and I can't get her to tell me. Well, why are you listening to a word that whore has to say anyway? Louise, please, would you stop calling her that? What, are you defending her now after everything she's done to my family? No, of course not. You know what? I don't even want you talking to her anymore, okay? Right. Okay, I won't. Just, I, I don't even want to talk about her anymore. Oh. Too cold up here for you? No, I, I just got to chill. Like someone walked over my grave. You know what? Maybe Mrs. Wheeler's right. Maybe we should just elope and not tell anyone, especially my father. Sheridan, come on. Come on, don't let Mrs. Wheeler get to you, okay? What if my father is planning to tear us apart again? Look, I'm not about to listen to a word that Mrs. Wheeler says. All right, I know better than anyone what your father is capable of. And he is not going to come between us, okay? He's not going to rule our lives, not anymore. I just wish I knew what she was hiding. Because if I did, it might tell me, then why is she so determined about this? Look, Sheridan, you want to have a big, beautiful, formal wedding. And guess what? That's what we're going to have, okay? Now, I'm not afraid of your father. In fact, I hope he does try something. Because I cannot wait to stand up to him and put an end to this fear once and for all. Oh, God, just the thought of that scares me to death. Listen, Sheridan, nothing can come between us. Not even your father. He's got nothing on us, okay? Nothing. Right?